Joyce, a change from this morning when he first signed on to that objection. Tonight, Wisconsin members are back on the floor after this incredible day. The afternoon unfolding unlike any other. So we evacuated to a secure location. That's where I'm at now. Members of Congress, including our Wisconsin delegation, forced to shelter inside the U.S. Capitol. It's really uh, a horrible thing and very embarrassing to our republic that this would be going on. Tonight, Republican Mike Gallagher from inside his office. This is banana republic crap that we're watching happen right now. The Green Bay congressman the not mincing words the for the president and fellow Republicans objecting to the presidential results. This is the cost of this effort. This is the cost of countenancing an effort by Congress to overturn the election and telling thousands of people that there is a legitimate shot of overturning the election today. Even though you know that is not true. We have got to stop this. Mr. President, you have got to stop this. This is something that the president of the United States was actually encouraging. Uh, and we've got proud boys in our nation's capital taking over the streets. Militia, white supremacists. Tonight, Senator Ron Johnson, among the few Republican senators who objected today, tells 12 News he doesn't believe his efforts are to blame. No. Why not? I've heard people do that. I think I just reject that And now tonight invited. says he will not object to Wisconsin's results. We already know what the results are going to be, and the results are not going to change. So, particularly in light of what's happening here, I don't see any reason for drawing this process out. And as we just reported, he did not object to Arizona's as well. Matt, debate on this first objection is just now wrapping up in the House? It is. We're monitoring those votes from our delegation. Meantime, tonight, Congresswoman Gwen Moore from Wisconsin is calling for the 25th Amendment to be invoked to remove the president from office.